Good morning, story time friends. How was your week? <sighs> At my house, we've been cleaning up the yard outside and doing some spring cleaning in the house. It's been really busy with all this nice weather. I really hope you have been having some fun and playing outside. <sighs> Shall we get some wiggles out while we wait? for the rest of our story time friends. I was thinking it's been a while since we've done our head and shoulder song. Do you wanna try it with me? Okay, remember we go head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Okay, here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, next is feet, tummies, arms, chins. Are you ready? Feet, tummies, arms and chins, arms and chins. Feet, tummies, arms and chins, arms and chins. Eyes and ears and mouth and shins. Feet, tummies, arms and chins, arms and chins. All right, good job. I think I got hair in my face now. Whew, that makes my hair go everywhere. All right, next we have hands, fingers, legs, lips. Ready? Hands, fingers, legs, and lips, legs, and lips. Hands, fingers, legs, and lips, legs, and lips. Eyes and ears and mouth and hips. Hands, fingers, legs and lips, legs and lips. How did you guys do? It had been a while, right? Let's do head, shoulders one more time. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh, you gotta give yourselves a hand. That was a great job. Okay. Oh, I think it's time for stories. What about you? I think we're gonna do our hello song first and then we'll talk about what our stories are all about today, okay? Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. I can sit, I'll show you how. Story time is starting right now. Okay, so we've been having lots of fun outside and this week, and I'm really happy to talk to you about a special day that's coming up. It's a day where we celebrate some really special people in our lives. Do you know who those people are? Anybody? Mothers. Mothers. Sunday will be Mother's Day, and it's a special day that celebrates your mom and any special mothers that you know, right? Okay, so our first story today is called On Mother's Lap. I think you're gonna like it. Can you see that little boy sitting on mother's lap? Michael was sitting on his mother's lap, back and forth, back and forth, they rocked. Let's get Dolly, said Michael. Soon Michael and Dolly were on mother's lap. Back and forth, back and forth, they rocked. Boat needs me, said Michael. I'll bring boat. Michael climbed back on mother's lap with boat on one side and Dolly on the other. Back and forth. Back and forth, they rocked. 
I want my reindeer blanket, said Michael. Carefully, Michael tucked his reindeer blanket around Boat and Dolly, back and forth, back and forth. They all rocked on Mother's lap. Puppy wants to come too, said Michael. Oh, somebody's awake. Michael and Boat and Dolly. Oops, sorry. Michael and Boat and Dolly and Puppy all cuddled beneath the reindeer blanket on Mother's lap. Back and forth, back and forth, they rocked. I hear baby crying, said Mother. She'd like to rock too. Hmm, there isn't room, said Michael. Let's see, said Mother. Michael and Baby both snuggled close to Mother. Boat and Dolly and Puppy were in Michael's arms. The reindeer blanket wrapped around them all. Back and forth, back and forth, they rocked. It feels good, said Michael. His mother gave him a squeeze. You know, it's a funny thing, she whispered, but there is always room on mother's lap. What did you think of that one? Do you like to snuggle? Sometimes it's really good to snuggle up, maybe with a favorite blankie or a favorite toy. Who do you like to snuggle with the best? Some of us like to snuggle with our mom. Some really like to snuggle with a grandma, right? Or maybe a grandpa? Or maybe it's dad? Some of us like to snuggle with a brother or sister. Yeah, snuggling is pretty amazing. So are favorite blankies and toys. So I have a little song before our next book. I'm wondering how many of you are working on letters. Some of you maybe not yet, but I was going to show you these letters today. Let's see if I can get to where we're supposed to go. Can you see my letters? These letters are M O M, M, you see how these are all the same? These are all M's. M, O, M, M, Y. This is a word. This word is mommy. And we are gonna sing a song about this word. Oh, and what it is, a mommy, right? I, I, I hope that you can help me a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to sing it once and then maybe you can join in. I love her and she loves me. And mommy is her name. Oh, M-O-M-M-Y. 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 And mommy is her name. Oh, you guys want to try? I love her and she loves me and mommy is her name. Oh, ready? M O M M Y M O M M Y M O M M Y and mommy is her name. Oh. Should we do that one more time? I think that sounds fun. All right. I love her and she loves me and mommy is her name. Oh. M O M M Y M O M M Y M O M M Y and mommy is her name. Oh, that was fun! Thanks, friends, for singing with me. I really enjoyed that. Let me see if I can get back to where we can read our next story. That'll be good, right? Whoa! Not the ceiling. Oh my goodness! Our camera's having a hard time. Okay. We'll back up. 
There. Oh, you can see these pretty things behind me. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Our next story is called The Kissing Hand. I think you'll like it. Let me get there. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay home with you? Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. You'll make new friends and play with new toys, read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem in, as warm and cozy as your days at home. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, asked Chester, what's that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's hand, left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand up his arm and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with special warmth. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, you just press your hand to your cheek and think, mommy loves you, mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry. When you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her with the gentle goodbye and I love you. Chester turned and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across the tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. What do you think about that one? Raccoons go to school at night? One more page. I want to show you this one. Look at that. It says, I love you. Not only is it a kissing hand, but that's sign language for I love you. Did you know that? I got to do one little thing on the computer here because it's giving me a funny message. And I don't want anything to interrupt our story time. Okay. I have another fun song. I'm, I'm all about songs today, evidently, right? This one is another mommy song, and I think that you will catch on quick and be able to sing with me. Okay. 
I love mommy. I love mommy. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And my mommy loves me. Yes, my mommy loves me. Loves me too. Loves me too. Do you want to do it again? So this time I will sing a line and then I'm going to be quiet and let you sing it. And then I'll sing the next line and then I'm going to be quiet and let you sing it, okay? Do you think that's going to work? I think it'll work good, okay. I love mommy. Good job. Yes, I do. And my mommy loves me. Loves me too. Should we try one more time? I think you're doing a great job. I love mommy. Yes, I do. And my mommy loves me. Loves me too. Ah, you guys do great work. Woohoo! Okay, now I have one more story for you. Are you ready? This story is called A Mother for Choco. Oh, look at this cute bird. Choco was a little bird who lived all alone. He wished he had a mother, but who could his mother be? One day he set out to find her. First, Choco met Mrs. Giraffe. Oh, Mrs. Giraffe, he cried, you are yellow just like me. Are you my mother? I'm sorry, sighed Mrs. Giraffe, but I don't have wings like you. Next, Choco met Mrs. Penguin. Oh, Mrs. Penguin, he cried, you have wings just like me. Are you my mother? I'm sorry, sighed Mrs. Penguin, but I don't have big round cheeks like you. Then Choco met Mrs. Walrus. Oh, Mrs. Walrus, he cried, you have big round cheeks like me. Are you my mother? Now look, grumped Mrs. Walrus, I don't have striped feet like you, so don't bother me. No matter where Chaco searched, he couldn't find a mother who looked just like him. When Chaco saw Mrs. Bear picking apples, he knew she couldn't be his mother. Mrs. Bear didn't look like him at all. Chaco was so sad, he started to cry. Mommy, mommy, I need a mommy. Mrs. Bear came running to see what was the matter. As she listened to Chaco's story, she sighed. Oh dear, if you had a mommy, what would she do? Oh, I'm sure she would hold me, sobbed Chaco. Like this, asked Mrs. Bear, as she held Chaco very tight. Yes, and I'm sure she would kiss me too. Like this, said Mrs. Bear, and she lifted Chaco and gave him a big kiss. Yes, and I'm sure she would sing and dance with me to cheer me up, said Chaco. Like this, asked Mrs. Bear, and they sang and danced together. When they stopped to rest, Mrs. Bear turned to Chaco and said, Chaco, maybe I could be your mother. But you aren't yellow, and you don't have wings or big round cheeks or striped feet like me. Oh, oh my goodness, said Mrs. Bear. That would make me look very funny. Chaco thought it was funny too. Well, said Mrs. Bear, my other children are waiting for me at home. Why don't you join us for apple pie, Chaco? Apple pie sounded wonderful to Chaco. So off they went. When they arrived, Mrs. Bear's other children rushed to greet her. Chaco, said Mrs. Bear, meet Hippie, Allie, and Piggy. I'm their mother too. 
the sweet smell of apple pie and the sound of laughter soon filled Mrs. Bear's home. After their delicious treat, Mrs. Bear gave all her children a big warm hug and Chaco was very happy that his new mommy looked just the way she did. What did you think of that story, friends? I really liked that one. Now, I have a question. I think I ask it almost every week. What was your favorite story? I think I liked the last one, the one about a mother for Chaco. I think it's a good reminder that the people who love us um, come in all different packages, right? Mommies and daddies and grandparents and cousins and aunts and uncles. We all have somebody in our life who loves us a bunch. I bet we have a project today. Should we look and see what it is? Here's Miss Carol's page that she made for us. Mom's Day. And let's see. It says you should read with a loved one. And we should make some paper flowers. Look at maybe like the ones up on the wall. Let's see how we could do that. I'm gonna get some papers together. I didn't disappear. Okay, so we get different colors of paper, right? So we might like orange, or maybe we like yellow. I know some of us like pink, and some of us like blue. Okay, and then we are going to draw something that looks like a flower out of our different colors of paper. And we're going to cut them out, right? And we need to glue something in the center, maybe, if we want to make a card. We could use buttons, look at those, or other pieces of colored paper. Oh, and we can make leaves to go with our flowers. See, see Miss Carol's? See her leaves that she glued on? What a fun way to make a card for your mom for Sunday, don't you think? You guys could do that. You know what else you could do with flowers? What you could make for mom? Do you see this? This kind of looks like what we have on the board, right? So Miss Carol took her flowers and she punched little holes in them and she glued or taped some leaves. At this one she taped so that the flower wouldn't move up and down the string. And then you can string all your flowers together and you can make a pretty garland that you can hang up for mom to decorate for Mother's Day. Doesn't that sound fun? I think it's a great way to show your mom that you love her is to make something for her. Moms love it when our kids make things for us. Okay, friends, I see the sun is shining outside. I hope you get to play outside today. I hope you make something fun for your mom on Mother's Day, and I hope you have a great week. I'm going to see you next time. Bye for now.